Wishing for a camera that'll let you shoot 4K video and capture beautiful still images? I have three mirrorless options that just might complete your wish list this year. The Sony a7S, Panasonic GH4, and the new Samsung NX1 are all powerful, interchangeable lens cameras that stand out in the market because of their ability to capture 4K or Ultra HD video. Let's go through some of the differences. I'll start with the Samsung NX1 since it's the newest release of the group. With a 28 megapixel backside illuminated APS-C size sensor, the NX1 leads the pack in sheer megapixel power. It can shoot DCI standard true 4K video at 24 frames per second. Now that's video with a resolution of 4096 by 2160. And it can also capture consumer friendly Ultra HD, a resolution of 3840 by 2160, video at 30 frames per second. It can do this internally to a UHS-1 or UHS-2 SD type memory card. Only want to shoot 1080p? Well, the NX1 can capture that at 60 frames per second. It offers both MP4 and AVI formats. The BSI sensor boosts this camera's low light performance. It has a maximum extended ISO of 51,200 with a burst rate of 15 frames per second using autofocus and a 1 8,000th of a second maximum shutter speed. The NX1 is sure to please when you're chasing down action like a kid's sports game. It also has a tilt touchscreen LCD allowing you to quickly access your settings. If you're more interested in a full-frame sensor, the Sony's low-light monster, the Alpha A7S, may be more your speed. The A7S will output 422 Ultra HD 4K footage to an external recorder via HDMI port. Although you can't capture 4K internally, if you can get a hold of an external recorder capable of handling 4K, the footage from this camera is outstanding. It also records 1080 60p and uses Sony's highly efficient XAVCS format. The A7S is industry leading in low light performance with a maximum expanded ISO of 409,600. You can even shoot footage at 40,000 ISO with good detail and minimal noise. The full frame 12 megapixel sensor captures beautiful details and according to Sony, 15 stops of dynamic range. Try it with the new Sony Vario Tessar T 16 to 35 millimeter f4 to 22 fe lens for a beautiful full frame wide Wide angle, perfect for showing environmental footage like landscapes. Now let's take a look at the camera that was the first to break onto the mirrorless 4K scene, the Panasonic Lumix DMC GH4. This is a micro four thirds camera with a 16 megapixel digital live MOS sensor. It can capture both DCI and Ultra HD 4K footage internally like the NX1. It also records 1080 at 60p. The GH4 is highly versatile, offering three shooting formats, including MOV, MP4, and AVC HD at a variety of bit rates. So footage should integrate easily into most workflows. This camera is very user-friendly and efficient, especially when you're working on location. You'll find a variable frame rate option so you can over or under crank video in camera. And the body of the GH4 is weather sealed, a nice touch for anyone working mostly in outdoor situations. The tilt touchscreen LCD responded accurately to my fingers. Remember, the micro four thirds sensor on the GH4 has a 2.3x crop factor when shooting in 4K, as opposed to the 2x crop factor that you'd get at 1080. That's all compared to a full frame camera like the A7S. So I'd recommend pairing it with a wider lens like this Panasonic 12 to 35 millimeter. With the crop factor, this lens will operate with an angle of view similar to what you'd get from a 28 to 73 millimeter lens on a full frame camera. Well, there you have it, a quick overview of three mirrorless cameras that all shoot 4K video. I'm Mia McCormick. Thanks for watching.